to a, a school up north, uh, Spring Ridge Academy, and we did a self defense class for 38 girls. They were from all over the country. And last night they brought us in postcards. What was really amazing is they didn't just bring me postcards, they brought them from Ms. Bath, Mr. Cam, and Mr. Mike, and Ms. Mandy, Ms. Mandy. Yeah, so everybody got a big stack of postcards. So I pulled out a few of them. I thought I'd read you maybe a couple of them today. It said, uh, thank you, Mr. Boggs. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to come to my school and to teach us about the importance of self-defense and domestic violence. I learned a lot from you and your staff. I feel more confident about defending myself. More confident about defending myself. And I like the individual attention that we received on my moves. I also enjoyed the words, she said Chinese, but we speak in what? What's, uh, what's the words we speak in? American. We speak in American? Yeah, what are those? What's Kesa Gatami and Kata Gatami and Mate? Japanese. We speak in what? Japanese. Yeah, we speak Japanese. Uh, that we were introduced to in the beginning of the program. I thought it was very informative. Uh, very informative, fun, and serious all at the same time. And she said, thank you for helping the young women. Not to be victims. Yes? Yay! That was a nice letter. Yes, sir. Let me get a couple more. I promise not to bore, with, bore you with all of them. Let's see if I got another one. This one said, Thank you for coming and teaching us some moves that will help us be safe. You know, will make us feel better. When being alone downtown is good stuff. I don't know what good stuff means. But, you know, being downtown and stuff. Today was really empowering for me. I really appreciate that you came all the way from Scottsdale with your team uh, to help us. And it was also really freaking fun. Yes? That's what you wrote. Yes, sir? What do you think? That was a good one. Yay! Let's see if I got another one in here. I didn't like Star, the, the best ones. Let's see what this one says. Ooh, look at that. Here we go. Thank you very much for coming up to our school and to teach us self-defense. Eyes on who? You, sir. Uh, I got a lot out of it. Afterwards, I felt more confident and stronger. What do you think, confident and stronger? Yes? Does karate help you feel more confident too? More stronger? Yes, sir. This one said, if I lived in Arizona, I would come to the studio regularly. Because you seem like you're a wise person. And I respect you for that. Thank you sincerely, Sarah. Yes? Yay! Oh, there's one more in here. Let's see if I can find it. One more? Yeah. Okay, maybe two more. Okay, no, this was the one. It's tough when they write on green paper and then they use green ink. Yes? Kind of hard for me to. She must really like green. Ooh, it makes it hard to read. He says, I'm extremely appreciative. Let's see, let me see if I can read the words. I extremely appreciate everything you've taught me. I feel awesome. Whenever it comes to any physical or even verbal confrontation, in the past I have frozen up, gotten small, and remained weak. Uh, anybody ever feel like that? Remained weak? Yeah, maybe before you came to karate class? This kind of class make you feel weak? You feel like you couldn't talk? So, I don't know what to say. Yes? This kind of helped you with that too? Yes, sir. Said, I didn't even realize a three hour class could transform my confidence so much. Uh, and I mean that very sincerely. Three hours. Yeah. Our self defense class. We call it three hours of power. Yes, sir? You kind of take all this weeks and weeks of karate weight, just to bounce it down. Palms, elbows, and knees. Yes, sir. I mean that very sincerely. I had so much fun, and I had a lot of energy after. I asked my mom if I could take some type of karate classes like this again. Maybe like boxing or kickboxing. She said, I don't really know what judo is, but I'll go Google that and look that up. 
I also have my sister, which is 19, and mom wanting them to take a women's self-defense class because my sister is in college and my mom works in Oakland, California. It's uh, heavily filled with crime and people steal from her store all the time. Yes, sir. So thank you again, sincerely, Whitney. So just a few letters. What do you think? You think, yeah, give me a big round of applause on that one. Do you think that they uh, appreciated this coming up? Yeah. No. I hope someday they will go back and win. Yeah, we maybe get a little older. Yeah, maybe get a little higher belt rank. Than you would be more than you. Like that. Yes, sir. Actually, they've invited us to come up a couple times. This next time they ask us to do like, you know, uh, mommies and daughters. Yes, sir. What do you think about letters? Do you like them? Speaking of letters, have you ever written a letter like that to your teacher? You've written one? You wrote a letter to your teacher? President. President? Yeah, there's a the special lady here at Goshen. She writes kind of letters to our students all the time. Do you know who that is? Who is it? Miss Beverly. Beverly. She sends you like good job notes? Yeah. Yes, sir. How many people get good job notes? How many people like them? Does it make you feel good? Yeah. Would you make sure that you two send letters? Yeah. Yes, sir. 